Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Well, good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, Roberto. Good evening, Emerson. Hello, everyone. Good evening, Waldir, very good. Well, yeah, I see some people are still communicating on the chat, so it would be nice if you can say how your progress has been so far, what you've been working on, what you have done on the platform, how well you are working on it, okay? Yeah, I can read your comments as well. Manuel, good evening. Uh, hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, I I have some issues with the with the platform yeah, because yeah. Uh, the module mm -hmm. uh, is was a uh, number two intermediate number two. Really? Uh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but I contact with. Uh, English uh, I, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this week is is okay. Happy they already day. fixed it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now oh. you have to complete the four units. Uh, no, 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 teacher. <laughs> yes, or, 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 this week I will, uh -huh. I will. Yes. You will start? Yes, yes. All right, nice. But you didn't complete in the module for intermediate two anything? No, no, no. no. Mm, nice. I, actually, I I completed before uh -huh. when when I was in the, in the module two. Mm, definitely. But now, yes. All right, that's great. But thank God now you are on the right platform. Yes, I. Yeah, you will be very busy, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or okay. units, right? Uh, yeah, but platform. so far until unit three, because we still have this. I mean, part of this week pending, and the next one. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you still have time to work on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have a a, a busy weekend. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Should have told me before. Yes. Uh, yes, I contact uh, um, 
two weeks ago mm -hmm. with the with the support, mm -hmm. but uh, actually this week they fix it. All right, nice. But thank God you you got the right exercises yes, yes. now. Okay, that's I great. got it. Thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Thank you for sharing. Uh huh. Someone else. Either on the chat or on the microphone, as you wish. That's fine. Totally fine. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, well, good evening. How are you actually, doing? Uh, well, pretty good. I'm still working today in the night shift at home. Really? Yeah. So night shift is home office? Yeah. And how long is it? Well, it's from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Oh, but you still are able to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I have heard that people that work in call centers, I mean, I, I'm not saying that that's your case, but I've heard that these people that do, like, they call it graveyard. So imagine, it's like a cemetery because it, they work at night and they work the whole shift. Like if they start at 7 or at 8 or at 9 p.m. until the next day. Uh, yeah, no, in this case, it's only to 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. So I think I will be able to attend the class only, or at least I didn't receive any call. All right, unless you don't receive any, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice, no problem. So you're giving technical support? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully nobody has issues tonight. <laughs> I will hope so because actually there's a, a regional issue from the platform of Microsoft Office 365. No way. Yeah, but only in the in the network from the from the company. Oh, you know, from that company in specific. Yeah, only mm. only specific. But you know, there's a every single country has uh, around twenty stores. Yeah. And uh, every single store is reporting that they are unable to log into the platform Jesus. because every single day they type all the sales from, from the day. Wow, yeah, must be really hard to, to handle. Yeah, but I'm very happy with that platform. That was really awesome, a lifesaver during pandemic because oh, without yeah. them... Hmm? It would have been so difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Emerson. Anyone else? It's your turn. It's your time.
Well, let's have the attendance. Let's get started. I uh, see. Let me go to the right sheet. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Here we go. Abigail. Not here. Atilio. Not today. Okay, Elizabeth and Stephanie. Good evening, teacher present. Hi, thank you. Emerson, already reported. Present, teacher. Okay. Fernando's not here. Not today. Francisco. Uh, on the chat. Hazel. Not here. Julissa. Julissa. Not here. Carla Ivania. The microphone probably not working. Luis Javier. Present. Hello, good evening. Magdiel Esau. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Manuel Alexander. Present. Hello, good evening. Marilyn. Present. Hello, good evening. Mario Ernesto. Nahia. Roberto Saúl. Hi, Nation. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. All right. Donald. Is Ronald here? Apparently no. Victor. Victor, Victor. Vidal. Present teacher. Good evening. Waldir. Present teacher. Good evening. And Carlos Alberto. No, he's not here. Okay, somebody I didn't mention probably. Oh my goodness. Really, Marilyn, thank you. I haven't seen, oh yes. That was, mm, that was his message. Mm -hmm. No electricity. My goodness. There we go. Okay. Good. All right. Nice. Well, let's go on. Sure. What a coincidence this week, right? With the 
with the dates and the classes. <laughs> I think we're going to go to, let's see, until the class number 20. Because today is the 18th, tomorrow the 19th, and then the 20th on Friday, I guess. And yeah, the next week, definitely they're not going to kind of see. All right, the usual reminders, common reminders, daily reminders, okay, to be in class, to have a full attendance and participation as well. Okay, we're going to wrap it up just for this objective for the warehouse, but we're gonna get started with this other unit, okay, and the contents from this unit. Before we start on that, we're going to review a little bit of the vocabulary we've been practicing so far. So I'm going to give you, let's see, give me a second. I'm going to give you this vocabulary practice, I think. Is this one? Yes. It's a very short quiz on vocabulary. So I'm gonna give you a link for you to work on it. And once you're done, we're gonna compare and see the right answers, all right? So there you have it, open it, work in it, and then we're gonna compare. All right, let's go.
गुड इवनिंग मध्य हाय गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम वर्किंग इन द वोकेबुलरी ऑनलाइन बट द पिक्चर आर वेरी स्मॉल आई कैन सी वेरी वेल about the pdf or the the link about the last exercise the link of vocabulary warehouse there are some pictures and, and names I don't know if you have that if you have that link uh, with you maybe you can share it here with me Okay on the chat is over there okay i'm checking now Yeah, you're right. They're very small. Yes, yes, right. Well, I only catwalk. I don't know what is the catwalk. I'm mezzanine. The mezzanine, I think it's the second one. But I don't know. I yeah, the the pictures are very small, too small. And the palette is uh, well, last one, as far I can see. Ladder. Here is the ladder. The rack. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. What you can do is you see the the modes on the right hand side. This is match up, find the match, and quiz. Can you see that? Oh, it's 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 uh below, right? Uh -huh. Click on quiz because on quiz mode it shows a bigger. Mm. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, uh, this is 
more legible. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. I know. Okay. I don't know Thank why you. why the link just showed that the first the first way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe maybe that maybe because we are accessing through a cell phone. Oh, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that one is it's a lot easier. Yeah. It's... All right. Did you complete it? No, yet. I'm working that. Okay, okay. I got eighteen uh, assert or true. Hi, Magdia. How many? Hello? Hello. How many? 18. Oh, okay.
What about you, Stephanie? Did you finish? Yes, I finished. <clears throat> um, I have, let me see. Oh, 10. Hello, I have a question. Is just me or the image are too small? Uh, no, that, that issue we have with McDill, but teacher says we had to do the, the quiz, not that from that video, the match. Ah, the quiz. Oh, yeah, the okay. Quiz. okay. Oh, the quiz? Um, yeah, because uh, that, that list, is the images are very small. Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know if you could resend me the, the link to the activity because I just entered the class and I don't, I can see the previous, the previous chats. Oh, sure. Okay, there is. Thank you. Problem.
All right, you'll finish. Yes? Yes. Done. Correct. Fifteen from twenty. All right, fifteen out of twenty. That's great. It's well done. Okay. A, B, C, D. Hey. Hey, correct. A, B, C, D. 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 Or B. D. D. Correct. Mm -hmm. C. 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 A. Right. Uh -huh. D. 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 Correct. D. Oh, um, D. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Confused with B. D. 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 B. D. A. D. <laughs> D. <laughs> D. B. B. Mm -hmm. D. F B. A. B. Correct. <laughs> ah, you see, you got them all right. Nice. Congrats. Good job. Excellent. All right. This was a matter of refreshing the vocabulary we've been dealing with. And yesterday we were talking about hazardous things hazardous situations dangerous situations that might happen at a warehouse mm, let me see I'm going to give you this link but wait a second I just um, 
check this out. All right. It's a very similar activity, but also click on quiz, on the quiz version, because the other ones have very, very small pictures. So it's easier if you do it on the quiz version. All right, I'll give you some time also to work on it. So you don't have to just tell me the answer right now, but in a little while, I'll ask you, okay? All right, take your time, take some minutes to work in it on the quiz version as well, remember.
Hello, uh, do you finish the exercise? Somebody finish the exercise? Uh, no, no, uh, I'm still, uh, uh, a question, is the, is the, the game of the, of the peers or, or what? The quiz. Ah, uh, the quiz. We finish. Yes, I did. All right. Uh, how many, how many correct do you have? I had... Eleven. How many? Eleven. Ah, super. And you? Uh, Twelve. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Um, I don't know the. Yeah, I had the twelve. Well, too. Correct. We we have to check. Um, I think I think the teacher will check when we back to the main room. Okay, okay.
All right, done. Let's double check. A, B, C, or D. A. Mm -hmm. Goggles, right? Must be warm. Do not distinguish with water. C. Mm -hmm. Do not drink the water. <laughs> B. Yeah, many factories this design because that's not drinkable water, right? Flammable materials. A. A. Mm -hmm. What's most uh, warm? D. Cautious. Biohazard. That's A. Gloves. D. As well, D. Mm -hmm. Not smoking. <laughs> D. That's a common one, right? Even on transportation to avoid having dangers, danger, wash your hands. Oh, this was a common during the pandemic as well. The obvious one. <laughs> All right. Trip. I'm oh, sorry. B. B. Uh. Uh, <laughs> Industrial truck, trucks. D. No running. <laughs> C. That's a common one as well on um, slippery floors, right? But it's a similar one. I'm not crossing because of a slippery floor, so there might be some uh, sort of situation. All right, good. Well, let me just move on to the, wait a second. I think we were over here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I get this, this one, okay. Yes, as beginning of the next the following unit, we gotta explain the relevance of an effective inventory management. It's very important to know what that means, right? Inventory management, effective inventory management. Does your company handle items with expiration dates? What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? So these are some opening questions for us to start with this new unit or this new content, right? So first of all, I would like to share this very simple uh, meaning of inventory management. The process of ordering, storing, using, and selling a company's raw materials component and finished product. Probably we usually get in our minds that inventor is just about finished product, but not. It's the process of ordering, storing, using, and selling a company's raw material components and finished product. Usually everything should be an inventory, right? Okay. Some pictures to project the way an inventory should look like. Okay, it is its diagram 
prime vendors sometimes, you know, it's stocking and it's stocking out, right? Purchase, production, transferring, sales, raw materials, transfer sales, and trinkage. All right. We're going to have this start of this new unit. First of all, yeah, um, I've been sharing this concept and this explanation, but try to think of, try to answer this, okay, the importance of the relevance of an effective inventory management. Why is it necessary? Why is it important? And of course, maybe know your company, but what happens when companies handle items with expiration dates? What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? So try to think about the answers to these questions, okay? So let's introduce the unit that way. Okay. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to try to answer this.
All right, anybody's participation? The relevance of effective inventory? Anyone? All right, maybe some more time.
اللي هو مرسون Uh, I will do it. Sorry, uh, I'm in a call. I'm in a call right now. I can talk. Okay. Hello, Ronald. Hello, Wilder. How are you? Hmm? In your work, they work with products that go out of season. Um, so in my work specifically, we don't we don't um, we don't work with inventory, but uh, but I, I have seen projects where we have to um, assess assist uh, to the clients with things related to inventory to supply chain. And what I and what I have seen is, for example, uh, a recent project that I have been in, that I, I have. That I have been involved is um is a, a manufacturing company where they had a big problem with inventory because a few years ago 
they started to they started to buy uh, many uh, raw materials and uh, and and at the and because for all these factors like the COVID nineteen and and uh, and the slow recovering of the economy, uh, they had the, now currently they have a big problem with their inventory because it's like um, three times uh, uh, they have accumulated like three times what they really need. So they have a, a big big problem with with that. So I uh, this is one of the of the most problematic uh, situations of inventory management that I have seen. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what about you? I, I don't know if in your work uh, you can you can observe, you can watch this kind of problems or uh, or something related that you that I, that you have known. Mm, I think that well for the kind of business that in the in the ah, in the place that I work, mm -hmm. I think that there is not like an inventory for products. We have mm -hmm. like like some things that uh, the business use, and sometimes oh, okay. those, those didn't get uh, benzer. I don't know how to say benzer. <laughs> they they pass. Uh -huh. um, so uh, oh, they, okay. So they throw it away, or maybe when there are a lot of things uh -huh. that can be useful, but uh, they have like a little time. Uh, the mm -hmm. the workplace uh, they donate those things. Um, uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And also in the world, um, they accum accumulate a lot of paper of things that they uh, do long time ago. Uh, I remember that two months ago, uh, mm -hmm. we were cleaning all the all the place, and there are, there were papers that were older than me, that were like 1998, 1970. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we are a very old paper and we are we were trashing uh, uh -huh. those those things because they are like confidentials. So we don't uh -huh. we can't uh -huh. just throw it away. So we have to, to rip it um, mm -hmm. uh, and and do and do that with all that paper. Mm -hmm. in, in what in what kind of company do you work? in a public opinion institution ah uh, okay mm -hmm. okay just i think that there is a there is a trend the in the um, the few years ago that started the is the most recommended thing is to digitalize the all this all this all stuff i think uh, because there is some is a much um physical physical inventory right um aha uh -huh. the, the the same in, in, in my company uh the in the last years uh almost of the of the paper is digitalized uh because there is so many things because i have in a consulting and it's like auditory like financial and, and things like that so it's very complicated and and it will be um uh uh, how do you say a poco um a little more efficient uh, if they accumulate too uh, too much paper. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Um. See. Yes. There were paper that were first digitalized before mm -hmm. we destroyed it. And I mm -hmm. remember that there was like a small warehouse in the office mm -hmm. but when we finished to clean all there was a space for another office <laughs> oh, the, okay okay <laughs> yeah it was a very deep cleaning uh-huh uh -huh. and, and there is so much inventory i think no in in 
what is something that is interesting i don't know if if it depends of the country but uh, when you say me that uh, when it, when there are expire uh, expire vencidos uh, uh, articles or that uh, you donate because what i have seen in this in this company is that they in the the last one in the in the last weeks that we were we were working for them is that uh, they found the more i don't know how million dollars of inventory that is unusable that, that is uh, that is waste it is is wasted so uh, uh, i don't know if it depends of the company or the industry uh, there is procedement for example in guatemala um you have to destroy uh, so if you if you if you have an inventory that you will not use that is a uh, that that is that is useless or for example if, if it's something uh, uh, i don't know uh, machinery or or mobile and equipment you you can donate because it, it, it is it, it is useful but maybe for example in this case that are uh, uh, raw materials that are expired or that are not in a good condition uh, it depends on the law if it is ap uh, applicable uh, and they have to destroy it. for for example if you have a uh, five million dollars in inventory that you that is useful that, that is useless uh, uh, or is expired or is in a in a bad condition uh, you have to destroy it and uh, if you have to burn it or you have to uh, i don't know if you the thing is that you have to destroy it and and then um it has to be a um a legal a legal entity or a, a representant uh, to observe the destroy of the inventory mm, no i i haven't heard about that but it, it, that's interesting uh -huh. okay. uh, i i I never imagined. I never okay. imagined that, but 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 it's logic because uh, if you will in the um, for the accounting procedures, I think that for for this way, for example, if if the if the company has uh, five million dollars of inventory and they have to liquidate or they have to destroy or, or they have to retire from the accountant for from the accounting, uh, if they have to retire. Um, these two or three millions that is useless. Uh, they have uh, they have to count with a, a legal entity that observe and to uh, to to give the um, how do you say uh, to give the authorization of this of this accounting procedure. Mm -hmm. I only heard that that there are like. Mm, fiscal paper that the company need to give for at least five or ten years. But uh, the, the other thing I haven't heard about. Uh -huh. uh, uh, for example, uh -huh. uh, it depends on the company or it, uh, the the operations. Um, mostly in 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 legal uh, legal papers or financial or financial documents uh, it, it is a time for, for example in auditory i don't know if it depends on the country but i but uh, i i was in the in in other meeting the other day and they say that um the documents for project authorization or something it has uh, in the system uh, a life a lifetime of eight years eight to ten to ten years Mm. Mm, that's that's neat. <laughs> yes, it, it, it is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of uh, company do you work? Uh, I I'm working currently. I'm working in a in a consulting firm. It's like financial. Mm -hmm. A, a strategic planning and something like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm.
All right, thank you, very good. Let's continue then. All right. All right, here's the situation between Sara and Ramon. So, let me just, all right. Sara is asking Ramon some tips on the basics of inventory control. Read the conversation and take turns practicing with the partner. How does inventory management work, Ramon? And Ramon answers, you need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the iPhone X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X is on store, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products that you can't sell. All right, so this is the conversation, okay? They are just asking, uh, I mean, the lady is asking, oh, what's inventory management about, right? So he is definitely explaining to her that it is important to be smart, okay, when one to, to invest and have lots of products on, I mean, stored and then you pretend to sell them, right? So it is better to see what's selling or if you already have enough, so do not get more, okay? So that's basically what the conversation explains. So I'm gonna read it once again in case you need some practice, please, we'll do it, okay? How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough pro enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory, so you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. So it's necessary amount, enough, right? Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the iPhone X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X is, is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there's a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. All right. I'm gonna give you some minutes for you to read it, check it out, check for vocabulary, check for pronunciation as well and try practicing. All right, so I might ask a couple of participants to do the conversation here in the main session so that we all can listen to their participation, all right? So I'll give you a couple of minutes.
All right, volunteers. All right, we got Emily's done already. Someone else? And my dear. Okay, so Emerson, you start. Okay. One, uh, two, three, go. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You, you need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the iPhone X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X is on store, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory, because you thought you could sell more than you did. And there is a change in the market. You might end up paying for products you can't sell. All right, thank you, very good. Anyone else? Is there any questions regarding pronunciation or vocabulary? Or just pull down? All right. Well, there are three questions related to the conversation. So the questions are, why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? Is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory? And what happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? I think we've been discussing these questions before, so you might have an answer already. But if not, you can double check in the conversation, definitely. Okay. Let us know when you're done with the questions.
All right. Anyone would like to answer the number one? Why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? Uh, well, I think why it's important to have enough products in, in your inventory. Well, maybe it depends the kind of inventory that we have. For example, uh, uh, water from selling water. You know, uh, people drink water every single day. So in that case, I, will, I it's important for me to have enough deposits of water. You yeah, to definitely. To... You're totally right. It depends of the of the type of products, right? Of the inventory. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice. Anyone else about the same one? The first one. Yes, sir. Um, I think that is if you want to um. Uh, if you want to maintain a a, a good um, profitability, so you have to reach your goals of uh, um, of sales. So you have to uh, you should have enough products in your inventory if you want to cover all the demand uh, based on your uh, on the projections. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah, and. It all depends on the type of business as well, right? If it is a small business, if it is a big store, mm -hmm. if it is a pharmacy, if it is a, I don't know, supermarket. There are so, so many types of business. So this is going to vary, definitely. All right. Is it a good idea to have access and, and access in inventory? Since we're saying access, right? I think... It's more than necessary. It's more than what your business can sell, probably. And what happens if you have too much inventory and the market trends suddenly change? So you have too much of a product and then the market trends change. You're not able to sell those products that you have a store in inventory. What do business usually do with those products that are out of season, that are not trends anymore, that are outdated or old fashioned or even expired? I think that it should be, uh, how do you say, reasonable, uh, reasonable. Um, uh, a reasonable uh, quantity, but mm -hmm. not too much. Mm -hmm. I think that the, it, it depends of the, uh, it depends of the company, uh, mm -hmm. the company, the type of business that they should, um, they should define a uh, a res a reasonable reserve, mm -hmm. a reasonable reserve of inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but I think, for example. Uh, it, it depends of the of the risk uh, politics of of every company. They say uh, it, it could be an excess of inventory, in, uh, no more of ten percent or no more of twenty five percent, because it, uh, it, every company has to define uh, a threshold, mm -hmm. uh, a reasonable threshold. All right, definitely. All right, good. We're going to stop right here, but. Keep on giving it a thought. Definitely your answers are totally accurate. But still uh, think about or investigate, do some research on what the companies or business usually do when these products, you know, are probably uh, out of season or about to expire. So they usually have these strategies to... I mean, get rid of the product, <laughs> probably not to have a total loss, but to get some income still. All right.
it's time, I guess. So we're having the last attendance. Thank you for your participation. Very good. Abigail. Atilio. Listen. Hello. Elizabeth. Present. Emerson. Present. Per. Nahir. Francisco. Hazel. Julissa. Carla. Luis Javier. Present. Luis Miguel. Miguel. Manuel. Essen. Marlene. Roberto. Present. Ronald. Present. Victor. Vidal. Waldir. Carlos. All right. Thank you so much. I hope to see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Blessings. Good night.